Hey guys, so as my way of giving back to all of you, I thought I'd do something different and share with you guys some of my credit increasing secrets. Don't forget to watch all the way to the end guys. That's the only way you'll hear the announcements and the rules for a free giveaway I'm giving to two lucky subscribers. So if you guys are interested, watch all the way to the end and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Ugh, does stressing over how you guys are gonna meet your financial goals and get out of debt stress you guys? Well, it did for me until I followed these simple steps and I got the info on how to raise your credit score 50 plus points in only yes i said it only 30 days that special somebody that special somebody hey if you that special somebody you ain't gotta worry about me saying names i won't tell nobody you ain't gotta worry about me playing games like it's a diary as a youth i wasn't as responsible with money and credit management and debt management um, they don't teach us these fundamentals in high school, even though I think they should. My early, as I've mentioned before, I had a really hard time saving um, in my early adulthood because, you know, I wanted to have fun. I wanted to do a lot of things that young people do at that age, just hang out, travel, enjoy life. And I did that. But no one really taught me how to manage my money in a way that works for millennials. And... I my parents were really good. They took they encouraged me to save my money, but I never really got the how to guide. So I just had to learn on my own. And by no way am I a financial expert or a guru by any means. But these are just some tips that I've learned along the way, and they might shock you because I didn't know this. And these are things that the credit bureaus don't want you to know also so the first thing I want you guys to do before even implementing any of my tips I want you guys to go to credit karma and get your score it's free it doesn't affect your credit and you can check it as many times as you want there's two major credit bearers one is um, one is TransUnion and the other is Equifax you can get your Equifax on Borrowell and your TransUnion on creditkarma.ca or .com if you guys are American. And I'm sure for all my American friends, a lot of the rules still apply to you because it's not that much different in terms of how we view credit in Canada and America. So you've done all that and you're asking now, what's the next step? Well, I'll tell you now. This tip is my absolute favorite and I was skeptical at first but I'm because I've heard all these YouTubers talk about it and I wasn't sure if it worked and I had a financial advisor and she actually recommended this and I said why not I don't have nothing to lose I want to buy a house in the future I want to do all these things and I can't because right now my credit ain't looking too right so that's getting uh, Capital One MasterCard it is amazing guys I'm not gonna lie it was really frustrating I had to go through this verification process with them I had to wait up over two weeks for everything to be sent to me with my credit card and my pin but once I got all that situated girl once I got that all situated let me tell you this card is simply amazing. I know for some of you guys, depending on your credit score and your goals and um, how low your credit score is, like if you have a credit score that's below 400, uh, of course it's going to take a little bit longer, but if you have anywhere between 450 and 500, this will be a heaven sent for you I'm not saying that anyone with a lower score it will not help increase it but it's just gonna take longer and I'm sorry not too much longer this card is a really this card really boosts your credit score um, the catch with the secure card and I, I wouldn't even call it a catch because people say oh I have to put the money down and if I don't have it up front they should loan me money up front and that's not a real credit card because you have to put the money on it is it is a credit card because you can do online purchases you can book stuff you can um book car rentals hotels all that good stuff trips 
but the only downside and i wouldn't even call it that because you have to build trust with this financial institution obviously you're getting the card because you have lost all the trust of every other financial institution so please um i don't like when people say that it's a scam it's really not it works for me i use this card and the best way you want to use it is pay the balance in full for a month and pay it before the due date so you'll want to find out your due date once you find that out and you pay it in full on time not not half not a quarter not 30 percent in full because i know some people say you at least want to keep it to that 30 percent well that's for people with good credit like if you're trying to build it especially from the ground up you don't have that you don't have that utilization of the 30 percent that you need so you're gonna have to build trust with these people and you're going to have to show that you can um, consistently pay a bill and not default and that is financially that is essentially what this card allows you to do um, just pay the card off in full and pay it before the due date you'll have to call the credit card company specifically and find out exactly when that is so you can pay it before and keep in mind it takes three business days for capital one to process your payment so if you know your bills due on the 20th you, if you paid on the 20th it's still technically late so keep that in mind i swear by the capital one mastercard i know there's a couple other secured cards and i'm sure they're okay but this card really works and it really is capital one is a big company so it's very so is a very established company so if you're looking for a secure card to build trust um you don't want to go with those lower level company because capital one already has it even though it is a secured card capital one is just a great company and when the other creditors see this and see this good history you will especially if it's over the three month period that I'm talking about specifically in this video, you will see a significant rise in your credit score and you won't believe it. I know I was jumping up and down. Um, I won't tell you what my credit score was. It wasn't terrible um, per se, but I, as a young person, I wanted to set myself up for financial freedom and I just couldn't do that unless I did something that would catapult my credit and it's hard when you're on a fixed income not everybody can just pay bills and do all that of course in the long run that is the goal but not everybody can just do it on demand and not to fault on any of those bills and not to not i'm not saying don't create a payment schedule but this is just a short-term solution for a long-term problem that you will have and if you want to see fast result quick maybe you want to get approved for something in the short term and you have a short-term goal this card is the one to get capital one is the you guys and this is the big one this is the one that the credit bearers don't want you to know i have a couple of other secrets but i'm gonna keep it really geared towards these three things because i think if you're on a low income and you're a person with a disability and you just especially if you're a person with a disability your income oftentimes is very restricted and even the one even those that do work good a lot of us are still living from paycheck to paycheck and this will just catapult you and get you on a great financial path or this is like a two-part but i'm gonna try to keep it short um don't pay off old debts right away. I know that sounds like the unjust thing to do and it sounds like a scheme, but I swear to you it's not. It's elite, it's legal. I swear to you. Someone's bumping music in the car, sorry guys. And my windows are open. So sorry for any disruption you might hear. Don't pay off old debts. And the reason why I say this is a lot of these debts are going to be wiped away anyways 
I'd say don't pay off all debts if they're four years or older because they're going to clear in about six to seven years. And they're not, those debts are not even owned, are not even owned by the original creditors. They bought it off a third party for pennies. So if you are thinking about paying back an old collection company, it, it it doesn't make sense. It, it, it and you're especially if you're strapped for cash. If you have the cash, go ahead and do it. But if you're strapped for cash, um, don't pay it off because those people don't even own the debt. It's going to clear from your record, and half these people are big corporations that buy. It. They don't even know who you are. Um, they buy hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of collection debts a day and then get the big bucks from you and they only pay pennies for your debts hmm that sounds like a little bit of a scheme to me anyway so that's why you do not want to do that and if you guys end up calling a creditor and and the debts like say five years old five six years old almost close to clearing and then you call the creditor it and you make a payment return to pay it actually starts back the clock they actually open up that account as if it was new from the year so if you have a lot of old history and your newer history has improved um, the old history might not have such a heavy weight of the new and improved history that you have so don't run and play collections, everybody. Think it through. I'm not saying don't ever pay it. I'm just thinking about what your options. Did you guys know that you can dispute old debts? I actually did this a year ago, actually. I had an old debt. Um, the company had actually closed down. I was going to work something out with a creditor and all that. And I, I watched a couple YouTube videos and then... They told me that sometime, and a lot of them were speaking about, uh, a lot of these companies that buy these old debts, they have dropped the ball. They don't really have your information. They see and talk to hundreds of people a day trying to collect these newer debts that sometimes they lose your information and sometimes they just simply drop the ball. In saying that, it is actually the the creditor's responsibility to prove that it's your debt. So if they do not have that information, and this is not legal, guys, if it's because it's it's by law, it's their responsibility to prove that it that it's you. Um, so I actually I didn't believe it. I was really skeptical. I'm like, man, that would never happen. I had an old bill. I don't even remember what it was. Um, so I called up the agency and said that I would like to dispute these two things. Lo and behold, about two months later, I got an email from TransUnion saying that it is gone from my record. And it might not work for all, especially newer debts. They might have that information and pull it up and it might stay there. But what is what is the harm if, they, if you can get at least two 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 or even one debt off your record um and have that positive history and have less of a negative history because of those actions why the heck not so i, I haven't tried this one personally but um, my friends have all tried this and they say that it works become an authorized user on your credit on someone's credit card I wouldn't recommend this to be someone that's not a family member. Um, the thing I love about this is you, that person could only have like a small card with a small limit of I think $100 or they might not even be authorized to use your cards in certain instances, but they still get the main card holders great, good um, payment is fee because they are also a user and in this this is amazing because it allows you to um, kind of skip a couple steps like if it's not your card and obviously you'll 
mainly be using it for emergencies. If the main person is good with money and they budget and they always pay their bill back, bill on time, you will have their history along with them as well without actually doing any of the work because you are an authorized user. And I think that's so amazing. And I think um, if you can have somebody who you trust and somebody who trusts you do this for you, it can be an amazing thing and it can catapult you in, it can catapult you in a short amount of time. You can go from having a 450 credit score to a 600 just with by following these steps alone. I also wanted to talk a little bit about the giveaway. I will be announcing the official rules because I haven't decided yet. I gotta let you guys work for it a little bit. It will be a Christmas giveaway, so it'll be my gift to you. Maybe, maybe I'll have you guys like, share, subscribe a certain amount of videos for the month of December. So look out for my next video. I will be making the official announcements. I just wanted to let you guys know that the giveaway is happening. I didn't forget you guys, and I just wanted you guys to have a little bit of insight into what to expect. But I don't think it should be too hard because you guys are so good at supporting me. Let me know if you guys love this video, if you guys want to see more videos like this. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell for upcoming videos and updates on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.